Well, I am, but like, what kind of a person punching the punching the commit? <laughs> So Seamilk, here yes. we are. Yes, we are here. Where are we? We're in a place called Gaga. Nice. Lady hmm. Gaga, right? Sponsored. Not a sponsor. Yeah, uh, we're trying out some Western food nice. because um, it's nice. We're in Shenzhen. We may as well enjoy some good Western food while reason, we can get it. The reason I agreed to come here is because you told me they have German food, which is fantastic. Yeah. And I love a good sausage. We all know you do. Anyway, thing is, <laughs> we're going to be talking about virtual reality. Okay. Um, now, thank you. I'm fairly sure that by now you've seen our On The Bikes episode about virtual reality. Well, at least we hope so. Yeah. If scheduling has worked out, you've seen it already. And we kind of said that we'd go and try some virtual reality stuff, you know, in a mall here. We happen to be in a mall, which is the KK Mall, also known as, as the Kinky Mall. Everything about what we're talking about has kind of connotations today. You know, I think they've kind of officially finally changed it to KK 100 instead of Kinky 100 because, I mean, come on, you can't be that short-sighted and stupid. Yeah. You can. You know, king as in the, like a, right, right, a king so. of a country and key as in a key, but king key. So it's key. called wank, which is yeah. wank. Jinji, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jinji yi bai. Yeah. So it was the king key wang in ke. English yeah. and then wank in Chinese. Yeah. That's got they, they screwed up in every a direction. Anyway, right? let's, let's get back onto VR. Let's what, talk so, about VR. Yeah. So why are we talking about VR instead of going to do it? We're going to go do it after lunch. Number one, we were hungry. Yeah. Number two, we have a lot, because we haven't really messed around in VR in so long, probably since we were kids to, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. Um, we want to talk about our experiences with VR yeah. and why we kind of think it wasn't, it didn't really take off, right? Sure. And hopefully quash some of those misconceptions that we have. So yeah. what was your exper first experience with VR? Uh, would have been something similar to like the Virtual Boy, those kind of things, okay. you know, back yeah, in the day. VR. Yeah, it's kind of VR. Just not very impressive, to be honest. I mean, I was way into it. You've got to understand, I was growing up when, when CD-ROMs came out. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow. And I'm, Me too. I'm from the beginning of computers, right. right? My first computer that I worked on was a BBC Micro. Nice. And then I did Commodore 64, and my first actual computer was a, an IBM PCXT, you know. 4.5 megahertz. Beautiful. You know, lightning fast. Proper IBM PC. So I've been into it from the beginning, and every little tech, little innovation that came out, I was fully in there. So, you know, CD ROMs came out, and then Sound Blasters, and all. It was amazing. Right. And so when the first kind of VR stuff came out, it wasn't even like VR goggles, just on the computer, like 3D stuff. I was, you know, way into all of that. And then you could get all these accessories and stuff, and it was just all a gimmick. You know, unfortunately, computers could never keep up. Yeah. And you need lots of frame rates. I think you need 60 plus frame rates, yeah, otherwise you, you start to it, feel it sick. You, yeah, it makes you yeah. sick. So that's one big aspect. Right. So computers just were never powerful enough. And the graphics always these like polygonal, crappy yeah. sort of, you know, like There's Mech no, Warrior 2. No, uh, no, what's it, textures and stuff yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Mech Warrior 2. I just played that the other day just oh, to see did? what it was like. Came with the no, side, when I bought my Sidewinder side project. Anyway, yeah. Terrible, by the way. Terrible yeah. game. Awful. So anyway, the thing is, VR has never really been good. The last time I tried it was a couple of years ago. Mm. Although in the markets here, I did try some of those sort of 3D oh, movie did. VR things. I mean, it's kind of like going to a cinema. Okay. It's nothing. It's like watching a movie screen in front of your face. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, you'd you'd hope it gives you that illusion that you're actually in the cinema, but not really. You you do realize you're just sitting with a thing on your face. My first experience was with Rad Racer that was on oh, the yeah. NES, 1989 I believe, and they had these colored glasses back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to call that VR, but it did kind 3D. of, yeah, it gave you this 3D kind of I'm here kind of image, but me and my cousins would put it on, like 30 seconds later we'd take them off. It just looked terrible and it made you feel kind of gross. Doesn't it remind you of just how 3D TV also? Yeah, 3D TV flopped, didn't it? 3D movies, I hate going to 3D movies. I never go to 3D. Do you remember when you could only go to 3D movies in China? Still isn't for the big blockbusters that come out. Big, they're big, but a lot of movies are now being offered again in 2D. And okay. me and my wife go and watch the 2D movies because I don't like the 3D movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Satada. Is there food? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's cool. Well, I mean, I'm just not a big fan of the 3D thing. And it's not because I can handle it. It doesn't make me sick or anything, but it's not as clear. Right, right. And right. it's kind of like diluted and watered down and crappy looking. And, right. You know, you're looking through glass. And I prefer to actually see a nice, crisp, clean, clear 
high definition movie rather than a 480p kind of equivalent type. I guess, yeah, I guess. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, in 94, these IBM guys did a tech demo at my school. Yeah. And they had proper 3D goggles. It was this big contraption. And we all lined up to try it out. And I remember it, it really blew my mind. It was just vector graphics, yeah. but like you were walking around physically inside of another environment. So, you know, me along with every other student there and the guys doing the presentation were convinced that this is going to be the future, right? And again, it kind of vanished and just recently came back and the last experience I had was with an Oculus Rift. And to be honest with you, it made me kind of motion sick, like really quickly. So it's really amazing, it blows your mind and then you're like, whoa, I gotta get out of this. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna play a regular game. I mean, it's the same with when 3D games first came yeah. on the market. People used to get motion sick all the time. You get used to it, but there were all these like ambitious ideas. I remember like when VR, back in the Lawnmower Man days and stuff, and it was the biggest thing during that whole craze in the early 90s and people were saying, you know, your apartment could look like a piece of crap, like you could have a ratty old couch yeah, yeah, or like yeah, some yeah. cardboard boxes, but right. put on the VR goggles and you've got like you a, a nice couch. Right. And so you sit down on what you think is an amazing couch, but it's just some piece of crap cardboard right. box. Right. And then, you know, you'll have like the whole screen can be a TV. And so, I mean, it was a thing and uh, it just kind of never materialized. That, that Microsoft tried to do something like that with the Microsoft HoloLens thing. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. that ever take off? No. no. Why? Why not? Well, I don't know. It's just like everything else around here, really. I mean, when it comes oh, to VR. Your way. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excellent. And the paper. Thank you. Thanks. And the cake. Okay. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, still have your lunch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. on the way. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah. yeah, the HoloLens never took off. I don't know why. Well, I mean, it's just one of those things, Google Glass and all that. It's, it's all kind of like proof of concept, test kind of stuff. And who knows, you know, there's, there's a chance. But just like 3D TV, up and down, up and down, and it's going to take a long time. Well, I have a challenge for you. Yeah, what's Cheers that? to virtual reality and I hope you work out. What do you say we try to prove our misconceptions wrong and go out there in the field and do some VR? Yeah, well, we're going to try out what's popular now in all Chinese malls and everywhere. We talked about it in our... Our VR episode, it was kind of like VR eggs and stuff. Yeah. Let's, let's go try it out. Let's, let's see what it. it's really like. Yeah, maybe it's better than what we remember. All right. Excellent. See you, see you then. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. So, see, Milk, we're going into the 3D coffers. What is a coffers? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Let's they say see. that there's 3D here. Well, let's see. It says 3D coffers. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, here's something. Oh, check this out. How does this work? <laughs> oh, wait, don't they have an actual VR though? You, mean, you, you may have VR. VR, VR. Yeah. Oh, oh a full body scanning area. Ooh. Oh, cool. Okay. Hey, that is interesting. Kind of looks like a, <laughs> okay. Okay, what I see is like, you know, an 80s grid. Okay. And a very badly textured kind of uh, cloud and moon stuff. And then written on the wall there, it says, this is real. You look ridiculous because you're pointing at that thing. Well, it's kind of cool. There's something up there. Is there something in real life right where yes, I'm pointing? It okay, it's kind of like a sensor or something. Yeah. Oh, there's this Vive, there's another there. sensor. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's an actual planet. Wait, there's a, I can see the Earth. Are you serious? Yeah, it's kind of cool. So I'm looking at the Earth and the Moon. I, I have to tell you though that the graphics look pretty crap. Why? I mean, not the graphics themselves, but it's not clear. It's like watching a 3D movie, but hey, worse. Oh. Hey, wait, there's like a yeah. punching. This is two Okay, all right, that's cool. Oh, Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Come at me. Come at me. Come. On. Come on. Hey. <laughs> hey, that's not realistic. No, I'm. Come on, that's not correct. Well, I am, but like, what kind of a person punching the punching the? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Take that. How about this side? <laughs> Come back here. What? I lost or what? She just hey, gave me a special move. Hey, that's not correct. Yes, that's right. Another one in the face. That's right. You like that? Ha. Yeah. 
Yay! Not great. Because I didn't hit the button. Okay. Okay. Then here is... Ah, yes. Here is the button. Okay. 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 This, okay, so what's happening is I'm shooting this truck, and these dudes are like trying to shoot me. Oh man, it just shot me in the freaking face. Uh -huh. It's a bit blurry because I'm not wearing my glasses, but it's pretty cool. It doesn't seem very accurate. No, that's one thing I found that when I was actually punching that woman, yeah. it's nonsense, man. I punched her so many times. <laughs> you know? It's pretty cool though. Yeah. Pew pew pew. Get you in the balls, bro. Ooh, dude. Oh yeah. Oh man, it vibrates in your hand, dude. This is kind of freaky. Like I feel like I could run into these this wall. Oh, there's a tank. What the hell's down here? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Let me get him. What are you doing? Okay, wait. There's these dogs that are coming out of... Oh, yeah, you gotta... Whoa, what's that? <laughs> get out of there. Get out of here. Get out of here. What's this crotch nuggling little... Hey. <laughs> In your face. Oh, dog. Anything else? Got another dog over there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Piece of crap, get out of there. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I wonder what's going on what's up there. What's there, dude? Dude, what's that? Nothing, but there's something right here. If you want to tell us about your friends, you can tell us about this place. This place is this place. This place is this place. This place is this place. 3D covers. Sunday cafe. Sunday cafe. Sunday cafe. Thank you very much for your help. I'd say it was pretty fun. It was fun. It was totally fun. It's got a long way to go though. The graphics are still very poor. Right. Um, I did get some slowdown, especially with that zombie one. Right. And you know, the frame rate and the graphics are just all, all nonsense. I'd, I'd say it was absolutely, it's mind blowing the fact that you can look around anywhere, which yeah. is really, really cool. But at the same time, I don't see it working for other, anything other than those kind of gimmicky arcade shooters. Yeah. Other that's than that, that's the thing though. Like. The accuracy is really bad though. Yeah, yeah. The, the punches, right. the shooting, everything's really bad. For sure, like, for sure. However, the fact that you're in an immersive kind of 3D environment is awesome. They should build on that, have more like exploration type stuff. Right. Well, I was going to say thank you and you know, goodbye to VR Larry over there, but he decided to run away. So. Yeah, anyway. I, guess I think we should do the same. Yeah, anything you want to tell our subscribers, by the way? Whether you, uh, whether you played with VR and had an amazing time, or you wear glasses so you couldn't see things very well, or you had an amazing immersive experience like Winston did punching women, um, I implore you to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, whether or not you have good eyesight or bad, doesn't matter because we love you all the same. Until next time, guys, you know the drill. Stay with awesome. Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Uh, and if my mind